Welcome back. Well, there's still a lot of golf yet to be played, so if you're going out to the stadium course this weekend, we want you to be prepared. So we sent Cole Pepper out to sample some of the food options that you can find around the course. Somehow, he wound up finding some very similar types of food. One of the big challenges when you come out to the players is figuring out what you're going to do if you're out here for four, five, six, ten hours. Well, you got to eat. That's for one thing. So let's check out some of the top spots to eat here at TPC Sawgrass. All right, so let's check out some barbecue while we're here. Might as well, right? Barbecue. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go with the, the brisket sandwich. Absolutely. That's the way to go. The key to the sauce is being able to get it open in your own fridge. You don't have to go too far from Sawgrass Village before you encounter trucks on 10. So I just followed my nose and find this, trucks on 10. I went with the ribs this time, a little bit of sauce, and off you go. This is a pretty good way to keep your energy up. And not far from the fan shop, which is bigger than it's ever been, I get that same aroma. Okay, I'm just behind the 12th tee, and I can smell it. Can you see the smoke? We've got to be close. Well, you got to go burn ends. Burn ends, uh, I have a nickname for them. They are meat candy. Meat candy. Melissa, yes. uh, give me all the meat candy you got. Okay. I have done the full tour of barbecues here at TPC Sawgrass, including these burn ends, meat pillows, meat candy, whatever you want to call them. This is a great way to finish it off. The good news is they're kind of spread around the course. I got my steps in, so I should be okay in the morning. All of that looked great. Kind of jealous of Cole that he got to sample all of that today.